Supposedly is Saturday night, but I think I missed the cutoff again. So we'll act like it's still August 19th. To God be the glory. I hope that you can relate to those words. Precious Jesus, right? He's first and foremost in our thoughts and our heart. And we just want to bask in his presence. How we love you. How we lift high our voice with your praise. Holy Spirit, we implore thee, drench my heart, and as my lips part your grace. I am persuaded, Lord, to love you. I have been changed, right, transformed to bless your name. I am constrained by this great gospel forever to worship thee, ever and ever and ever. I don't know why it's so dark, but the Lord knows, and um, it's late, so... We're just going to go with it. And we're in Exodus 30. And it talks about offering. Offering to the Lord what is due his name over and over. Morning and evening for the rest of our time. And he's worthy to be praised. Yes, he is. It says... In Exodus 30, verse 15, the rich shall not give more and the poor shall not give less than half a shekel. 
But listen to this. This is for us. When they give an offering unto the Lord. Listen, as long as you give from the heart and you give what is due to him, you're continually offering the sacrifice of praise. You're offering your life. You're offering your everything back to the Lord because he's the owner of all. We are just stewards and temporary managers. And we're to minister unto those who he puts in our life. Verse 30, it says, And thou shalt anoint Aaron and his sons and consecrate them, put them to the side for a special service. And he wants us to be consecrated for the work that he has appointed to each one of us. And it says that they may minister, that you may minister. Minister just means to serve. So we're all ministers. We don't need a fancy title to do the work of the Lord, okay? You're ministering in the streets and sanitation department. You're ministering in that fire department, in that call center, in that classroom. You are to be a servant. And we hear the different types of leadership. Servant leadership, that's it, right? You're here to make a difference as you bless others. And we're to be pure and holy in verse 35. Even though we're not so much perfume, but we want our lives to be an ointment sweet so that Ah, it's a, a, a savory smell, a fragrance. Our worship, our life. Yeah, isn't that your desire? Yeah, that's mine too. Well, because of the date, the 19th, we would have gone to Psalms 19 and 49 and 79 and 109 and 139. Well, Psalms 19, the heavens declare the glory of God and the firmament showeth his handiwork. Don't you know the heavens praise the Lord? Just like how we sang forever, we want to worship. Listen, every element that he has created worships the Lord. Day unto day utter speech and night unto night showeth knowledge, right? They're, they just continue to just bless the Lord because he is worthy. <laughs> to be praised forever. And it goes on to say that the fear of the Lord, the reverence of the Lord is clean, enduring forever, eternally, just like our worship is forever. And that's in verse nine, the judgments of the Lord are true and righteous all together. Yes. And our prayer is as we continue to bless the Lord, we want the words of our mouth and the meditations of our heart to be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our strength and our redeemer, our rescuer. Father God, we thank you, Lord, for yet another closing of another beautiful day. Lord, we just ask that what we do, what we say, what we think, what we feel, everything is aligned with your perfect will. So Father, have your way so that it will be a sweet smelling savor what comes out of our lives. So it will be continual worship forever and ever and ever. Have your way in our lives and you take pleasure. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen.